Alright guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. Either you're using the Bluetooth or the USB cable. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. So let's get started. Okay. Alright, so for this to work, you need three things. One is DS4 Windows, two is Vision Bus, and three is .NET 8 desktop runtime. So these are the things that will basically make it run and will make it work. And uh, if you have your .NET already installed, do not bother. So you just go ahead to download the DS4 for Windows, you download the latest one. I have this already installed, so I'm not going to be downloading it, but I will put the link to the download in the description. So you download your DS4 Windows, and after that is done, you can download the .NET 8 if you don't already have it installed and run the setup. And for the last one, which is the VGM bus, which is the VGM bus, you can see releases nefarious VGM bus. So that's the one we're going to be downloading. So it's just here, you download this, that's the Vision Buzz 1.2, I think this is the latest. And after you've done all of that, um, you just have to download these three things and you're good to go. So once you've downloaded those three things, you install the DS4 Windows and you get a folder like this. You'd also install the um, Vision Buzz and that would be somewhere else in your root folders and program files. So once you've had all of this, you run each one of them, like you install each one of them separately. And once all of that is done, I think you're good to go. So once you've downloaded and installed the DS4 Windows, you'll get this, all of this, as you can see on my screen. And basically after that, you just open ds4.exe. So once that is launched, now you take your controller, you switch it into pairing mode. You click home and share. So you click home and share. So this goes into pairing mode. So now you come to your desktop, you go to Bluetooth, go to settings, and add me although i have mine already um, connected i'm just going to disconnect it for this video so so you go to add bluetooth devices you'd see wireless controller and that should stop it from you see it's stable so click on done now you go to your ds4 windows so you can see it's here on the screen um, battery percentage is at 50 so you can click on edit to then change the light bar or you know whatever you want to do um, what you want the output mode for the trackpad or the touchpad to be should it be a mouse or whatever it is so here you have it basically everything that you want so I can decide to change my the color of my my oh boy click bro it's gone off and when I click on this it goes back to blue I click on green and yeah you might not really be able to tell the color from there but like this is blue so so once you've set all of this up or set whatever you want to set up you just click on apply and Save. So once you've done that, you can just minimize. So for some games like Last of Us, where you tend to have like your controls not entirely work, I noticed a lot of issues. Not really a lot of issues on La um, in Last of Us, but there was something with the um, you know analog stick not really going in the direction at which I was like positioning it or pointing it towards. So for that fix, you just come here, um, go to other, then click on emulated controller, then change it to DualShock 4. 
that fixes that error. So that's just a tip, a quick tip for whoever you know has the issues playing The Last of Us on PC. So and you click on save, and that's all. So if you are playing other games, you should just basically put it on the Xbox 360. It will emulate your controller as an Xbox controller. So you can use it as a, a trackpad. If you notice my, uh, this is pretty cool. So yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to smash the like button, share and subscribe. And um, until next time, it's peace.